Yes. <clears throat> How's everybody doing? I uh, decided to add some stuff to my video, so I'm going to do this over. My live stream. I love you guys. We did a beautiful live stream. And uh, <clears throat> I want to have a shout out to uh, Andrew. Um, as I was talking in my video, he's on the road. He can't always... Uh, get to the live stream because he's on the road so i want to give a shout out to andrew um radioactive the water radioactive water is green that's representation here when it was in the river right here radioactive it turns bright green radioactive um anybody that knows anybody that just does a spinal tap they put the green radiation in your spine so they can check it that's the only way they can check it it's because of copper anybody knows about copper and phosphorus but anyway it's green so it isn't a myth it's green um these are the there's actual green water right there radioactive water want to have that fact in the simpsons radioactive the barrels spill over. You can also see it right here, radioactive. Bright green radioactive. This is just the facts. It busts. The radioactive water is green. So this is a fact. <clears throat> the Pope. So you got the flower. POTUS loves the lotus. The flower. He gave it to the Pope. Somebody mentioned that in my last video. Yes, you're ahead of me because I was going to make out this video. I was well aware of this and uh, I agree. He was wearing black. His whole family wore black. You can say whatever, but the fact is he was wearing black. She had a veil like a, like a, uh, she actually had it on her face. So that's just facts. This is the torpedo. Now I'll go over it. And it slowly <clears throat> travels across the ocean ominously towards its target over a period of weeks or even months. The drone travels so slowly in order to avoid detection. But when it's nearby an enemy coastline, it rushes ahead at over 100 miles per hour to get close enough to detonate its nuclear bomb before it's detected. The bomb that the Poseidon drone carries is allegedly the most powerful nuclear device ever created, capable of unleashing a completely insane 200 megatons of explosive power and all of it underwater. For reference as to why that's insane, the biggest bomb ever tested by humanity so far was the Tsar Bomba by the Soviet Union. That bomb destroyed every building in a 55 kilometer radius, caused third degree burns 100 kilometers away, and shattered windows that were 900 kilometers away. It was detonated here in Novaya Zemlya and shattered windows all the way over here in megatons. The Poseidon bomb has four times that amount of power. Unleashing that amount of raw power underwater is allegedly enough to generate a 500 meter high tsunami wave in the direction of an enemy's coastline. That wave would be so high that it's almost impossible to fully appreciate. So here is what the Empire State Building would look like right next to it. The 2004 Indian Ocean tsunami that devastated Indonesia only reached a maximum height of only 30 meters and is over 16 times shorter than the Poseidon tsunami. What's even worse, though, is the Poseidon nuclear bomb is apparently a cobalt bomb, specifically designed to unleash more radioactive fallout than a normal nuclear bomb. Green. A green waterfall. This not only makes the wave freakishly huge, but also intensely radioactively contaminated. So now imagine you're just chilling, hanging out on the coast, and you notice a 500 meter high radioactive death tsunami bearing down on you. What would you do in that situation? Waterfall. 
The weapon is apparently specifically designed to circumvent the capable U.S. and European missile defense systems. If nuclear missiles are heading towards your country, you can at least try and shoot some of them down before they make an impact and you have a chance. But what chance do you have at stopping a 500 meter high mega tsunami? Once the bomb has gone off underwater, it's already pretty much too late. The tsunami is going to happen. This is a simulated flood projection that was developed by the University of Washington if only a 100 megaton bomb was detonated underwater off the coast of Long Island. But even a 100 megaton bomb would apparently flood the entire... Very interesting. They did the study at New York City. ...entirety of Long Island, all of New York City, and significant portions of Connecticut, New Jersey, and other areas. As mentioned previously, the Poseidon bomb has double that amount of power. A 500 meter high tsunami would be taller than every single building in New York except for the One World Trade Center, and it would still be very close. Everything in the city would be destroyed, and the highly radioactive water would linger around and poison the ground and... So you would drown in radioactive water. ...the drinking supply. It would be absolutely catastrophic, and the Russian Navy has allegedly already ordered 30 Poseidon armed dr so I'll get, I'll get rid of this. You get the picture. The fact of the matter is it's radioactive water. Plus, I'll put at the end of the, this video all the nuclear power plants that would go off too. The Bible says it's wasteland and people die in the Bible from drinking the water. Those are just facts. So, <clears throat> as I showed you in my last video, I showed you the blooming flower. Trump loves them, as it says right here. So there was no coincidence when, G when he went to Florence, and he went to Florence, and it was for a reason. Florence means blooming flower right here. There's no, no coincidence, meaning Florence. So this is all planned. He did it on purpose. Um... Now we'll get to the moon phases. This is like a bullseye in all these videos. If something doesn't happen, I'll be very surprised. i just put it that way, because here, here you go. They show Trump's death, okay? They have this repeating theme all through this video. The main thing is track the flower. Track the flower and the cheek. There you go, as I said, April Fool's Day, so it's a repeating theme. Also on his cheek, when he says this, the moon face is a new moon. New moon, right there on his cheek. So when this goes down, it'll be a new moon. I'll show you another place where it shows the new moon too. See right there? You can't see it because there's light around it. There's light around it and the moon's right there. I'll show you. Now you have Obama. Obama on his cheek, and I will get back to this, is a sliver of a moon on this side. Which a sliver on the moon on this side, as I said, there's a seven. It's like right here. It's right here. Right here. Right in here. One, two, three, four, five. Five. So let's go over it. There you go. As you saw, it was like a sliver. Do it again. It's on this side right here. It's roughly like in here. What it would be is it would be, if Trump was pronounced dead right here, it would actually be this night right here. It's always like this. 
But if it was right here, he was pronounced dead on this day. Be one, two, three, four, five. Be right here. Okay, now we'll see this theme again. <laughs> Laughing out loud, April Fools, the first day, as I said before. I showed you in the classroom exit. I believe this is Trump. We leave around this time. Let's go here. The flower trumps death. Right here. So he could be pronounced dead on the 27th. He could be shot because his rally is roughly in the evening, 7 o'clock. 9 o'clock, they could pronounce him dead at midnight, which would be the 27th, which was on his cheek when he was lied down. His rally's here. Five days later, one, two, three, four, five. Let's go back to the plan. First thing happens is a V. That is five. After Trump dies, which is the flower, representative of the flower, right here, he was he was in his garb with his wife. Right here, Florence, as I showed you, he had two rallies. Florence, meaning blossoming flower. Five days. V is for five. Now what happens when he goes out the window? Trump's dead. Five. Five days. Now they show it going away. Five days, there's the wave right there. There's the wave, as I showed you right here, of radiation water. And I played this video for you right here. Radiation water comes as a tsunami wave right here right here just as it shows an ipec goat right here these waves taller than the buildings with yuck green radioactive water now let's follow the flower Showed you this. I'm going to slow this down. Turn the volume down. See the gun. Radioactive. The flower. You have green goo, green goo, oops, my bad, sorry about that, okay. If you look on his face right there, you have the new moon, you have light all the way around his cheek, light all the way around his cheek, the moon is in the middle. You have the flower, he has it on both cheeks actually. You have it on both cheeks. So the wave comes down at the new moon on the appointed time, April Fool's Day. When the wave will come in, radioactive goo from... The hammer and the sickle, which is representation of both of them, representation of Russia and China. If you notice, his hair, too, is almost like bushes in the classroom. 
where you had these streaks in it. But that's the tidal wave as I showed you back here. Right here, radioactive water. Got it on both cheeks. New moon. Like I said, this is not good stuff, but I mean, as far as it's, it's, I mean, I have no control over any of this. Then it shows uh, Trump's bones. As I said, So, you have April Fools. You have the radioactive signal on her face. Radioactive nuclear. Nuclear. April 1st, right here. Almost looks like a whirlwind, tsunami, whatever. You have the April... Daisy, and you have Trump's tie. So, there you go. It's all right there. Um, I will add a little bit to the end of this video, and I'll have it out in the morning. Um, I redid some of it. I knew what I was going to do, but... So, I wonder if Purim is the 21st. They'll say, after tomorrow, they'll say Purim is the 21st. Maybe the Purim's the 22nd, I don't know. It's a five-day feast, seven-day feast, I don't know. But, like I said, I will add this into, I got some other stuff, I'll add it into the end of my video, God bless. And uh, I'll put something else at the end of this. Yeah, I'm going to end my video here, but I will go over this, this is the last of it. As I showed you right here, this is the new moon, April 1st. Here it is on his cheek. Just like on Obama's cheek. This is what a new moon looks like right here. This is a new moon. I'm assuming this will happen at night. One hour happens at night. I'm assuming when people are asleep as the tsunami wave comes over. Right there, midnight, terror by night. I'm thinking it'll happen the 31st going into the 1st, which on God's calendar, it's actually the 31st because morning is, uh, anyway, I'm not going to get into that. But So the new moon's here. Here's all the nuke plants I've shown before. This is why America will be desolate. Um, they aren't going to be coming in here right away because after this happens, these nuke plants are going to go off. Um, Jeremiah 50. Excuse me. This is Jeremiah 25, the destruction of Babylon. Which it's in Jeremiah a few times as I've showed you. Or is it this Jeremiah? Yeah, this is Jeremiah 25. When it talks about the pastors. As I said. About the pastors and priests. Jeremiah 25. Yep, about the pastors and priests. In here. Woe to the pastors and priests. It says it will come to pass and accomplish 70 years. 70 years, I believe this is 70 jubilees. There's people out there that have been saying that. I do agree with that, 70 jubilees. I will punish the king of Babylon and his nation, saith the Lord, for their iniquity in the land of the Chaldeans. And I will bring up a land 
all of my words which were pronounced against thee, even it was written in the book. It says, Jeremiah the prophet against all the nations, the na and many nations with great kings serve themselves. So yeah, it's going to be desolate. Desolation right here, desolation. Astonished. It's also Revelation 18. It says, in one hour, her plagues will overtake her, death, mourning, famine. This is not pretty. I'm not saying this, but we are supposed to watch. And um, this is horrible, but it's over. I mean, there's nothing I can do about it. I'm not, I'm a nobody. It's very funny that they had a ship, Poseidon. They got hit by a tidal wave, and this was, movie is in 2006 when I was younger. I watched it. So, yes, the new moon right here. New moon image. There's the wave at midnight. I'm assuming it's going to be on the 31st. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, right here, 31st, going into the 1st. Here's all the nuke plants. Bible plague right here. Her plagues will be in overtake her death morning. Right here. Her one day. It says one day. Jeremiah 25. And Psalms. This is the good part for us. He that us bide in the secret place of the Almighty shall be covered under the shadow of the Almighty. It says, He will deliver thee in the snare of the fowler. It says, They shall his feathers under under your his wings. It says, There shall not be afraid by terror by night, or the arrows that fly at noonday. It says right here, Nor the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at your left, and a thousand shall befall at your right, but it shall not come near thee, only the eyes of the wicked. So there you go. This is our blessed hope. This is what we are um, what we are looking forward to. One thing I will add, because Marcia was not in my live stream, and uh, she gave me this. Thank you, Marcia. As I said, people can make my live stream. Sometimes they can't. Marcia gave me this. As I, I said in my live stream when I was talking to her about my videos, she was saying Revelation 4.1. The door in heaven. Right here, it's Revelation 4.1. This would be April 1st. As she was saying, good job, Marsha. God bless you all. I'm going to stop my video here. Um, like I said, I have four videos on this. I might put them all together in order. It's going to be over an hour and a half and put it on my backup channel. Just And that's why I didn't make them all at once. I, I've been working on this for three weeks and uh, all this information. And if I would have made it in one video, it would have got all over the place. God bless you all, and uh, I'll see you live stream on Tuesday, the 22nd. We'll see what happens this week. God bless you all, and I hope you're all doing well.